Hey guys, today I am filming my monthly makeup basket. I really enjoyed filming this video last month, so I decided that I want to make this a regular thing. And please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a follow-up video telling you what I actually used from the products that I showed you. Uh, so yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you think about that, if you'd like to see that or not. I have a lot of products to show you, so I want to get into it and uh, I'm trying to use different things this month, but I also have some of the same products as last month. So I'm just going to get started. Now for primer this month, I am going to use some samples. I was using that Sephora Mattifying Primer, and my skin is drying out a little bit, and that Mattifying Primer is just not doing the job. So I'm using the Pixi Flawless Primer, Flawless Beauty Primer. I got this in my Target Beauty bag, and the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer, and both of these are luminizing primers, but I don't think that will really make much of a difference, so I'm going to use up these this month. I've already started the Pixie. I've already used the Pixie a couple times, and it's really lasting well. Um, and then for foundation, of course, my Revlon Colorstay Liquid in 150 Buff, my under eye concealer, the Maybelline Dream Mousse. And I'm just getting closer and closer to being done with this. I can't wait. I'm still just scraping the edges. I think I can scrape the edges. This will probably last me until January or February. I already have a backup, but we'll just see about that. And then I picked up a new face concealer. I used to use this a long time ago, and I didn't like it, so I gave it to my sister. And she still uses it, so when I was home over break, I tried it out, and it worked great for my blemishes, which have been very dry this month. So the concealer I'm talking about is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 15 Fair. This is the lightest shade. And then I'm gonna set everything with my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and the pan has gotten a lot larger since you've last seen it, uh, since last month's video, which I will link right up here, last month's video, so. Definitely running out of this, and I picked up an, a backup of my foundation, and I picked up a different powder to try once this is over. Okay, bronzer like always, Benefit Hoola. I got a bunch of blushes again. Some of these are repeated, some of them are new. Sonia Kashuk Tawny, which is a natural blush. I wore those a couple times last month. Elf Berry Mary, which I wore multiple times. This is a gorgeous color. I really love this and definitely recommend it. It was in my Fall Beauty Favorites, which I will link up here. And I have the Milani Minerals in my tie, and I'm wearing that today. You probably can't see it. I applied it with a silver brush and then blended it out. You can see it in person, though. And then I have the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Soft Plum. Love this, and I really... It's discontinued, but I still want to get some good use out of it. Still want to use it up to let, and let it go to waste. And I have another discontinued product, uh, the NYC Blush with Cream Stick and Big Apple Blush. I actually got mine after it was discontinued off of eBay. I got it this summer. So those are all my blushes I'm going to be using. And for my contour, the NYX Blush in Taupe, like always. So I keep switching hands with things. And the pan is getting bigger on this as, as well. I've been trying to avoid the pan because I just don't want to run out of this even though it is a drugstore and won't be expensive to pick up. And for a highlight, I feel like high beam is kind of too intense for the winter time, but I still want to highlight my skin, so I'm going to use the Hard Candy uh, Blush Crush Baked Blush in Pin Up. And then I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set to keep me from looking cakey and whatnot. I'm trying to use this up. Now for eyebrows, I'm going to use two different products this month, just kind of going back and forth. Um, and I have an eyebrow video that I will probably post before this one that I will um, link it right here. And I've been using, and these, I also mentioned these in my October favorites, which I will link up here. So I have my Essence Eyebrow Designer Pencil in Blonde and my Maybelline Define Brow in Dark Blonde. I underline and fill in the tail with Maybelline and then I fill in the front with the Essence. And then something else that I'm using the Elf Era Kit in Light. I've used this for a little while and I found a new brush to use it with. It is the Revlon Smoky Eye Dolander Brush. It's basically the same 
as this mini brush that comes with the kit, but just larger. And I've been using it yesterday and today, and I really liked it. So it's got this angled tip, this little short smudger side, which I apply the powder with, and the angled side I use for the gel. So really loving this. And my other eyebrow products I always have to highlight the NYX Gemma Pencil and Milk. Um, as a wax, the NYX Eyebrow Shaper, and as a gel, the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. And I want to use all new eyeshadows this month and, and new eye bases. So I have a lot of bases to choose from because I really want to try to use these because I get stuck in the rut using the same ones. So for a primer, Urban Decay Primer Potion. And if I wanted to do an all matte, I, I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in New Bile. And then I have just a bunch, all the rest are color tattoos. Some of these are limited edition. Instead of my Champagne Toast Melon Shadow Eyes Pencil, I want to use my uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Beige as a light lid color. And I also have Bad to the Bronze, which I'm wearing today underneath of some shadows I'm going to show you. So I want to wear this one this month. Golden Shimmer, which was also limited edition. Rich Mahogany, which was also limited edition. And lastly, my Holy Grail eye base and that would be the color tattoo in tough as taupe which will most likely be worn in the crease with all these looks okay. sorry this video is getting kind of long i'm trying not to ramble now on to eyeshadows i have three palettes i want to use this month and i'm going to limit myself to only these three palettes because i really want to use more of these colors and come up with new looks so the first would be the urban decay naked palette i hardly ever use this i need to get more use out of it and come up with new looks. So I'm going to be wearing this this month, as well as the two two of the new Wet Mouth palettes, the Drinking Glass of Shine, which is the matte palette. I've already used this a couple times, and I love it. As well as a Sparkle Till Morning palette. I'm wearing both of these today. I love wearing these in conjunction with one another. So those would be my these would be my three palettes for this month. So yeah, I'm excited to use those palettes. I want to get some more use out of them and come up with cool looks. And I had a request to do a Sparkle Till Morning tutorial. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned you guys before, I don't really do tutorials because my camera quality isn't um, amazing, as good as a lot of other YouTube girls. But I think I'm going to try and see how it turns out. If not, I'll just probably turn it into a get ready with me video uh, instead of an actual tutorial. So. I will try that out once I've come up with some more looks and played with the palette a little bit more. And I have for liner, of course, like always, my Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner, Holy Grail. And I have three mascaras again this month, but these are my favorite mascaras. Last month are ones that I don't really use often, I want to try to use up. So this month I have my three favorite mascaras. And that video I will link up here. Um, just describing why I like them all. And so I have the Cargo Triple Action Mascara. And if you want to see what the brushes look like, look in that video too. Maybelline Falsies and the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. These are my three mascaras for this month. And I love these, can't go wrong. Now, I actually have overgrown my bin. Um, these, I use but my mascaras and my lip products in the same bin, but these mascaras are too long and they take up the whole thing. So luckily I have another little basket to put my lip products in and I brought lip products from home that I never use when I went home for break. So um, I definitely would take this opportunity to use them now and only allow myself to use these products. Uh, I might use other things. I wanted to try to limit myself to only these lip products, but we'll see. And what I'm wearing today, this lip combo, I really love. And that would be the Revlon Super Luscious Lipstick and Primrose, which a lot of people really like. That's why I picked it up. Um, it's talked about a lot here on YouTube. And I love the way that this feels on my lips. Lipstick, I don't like on my lips. Um, I feel like it attaches to the dry bits, but this does not. This is very smooth and 
luxurious feeling it's a really nice cream formula and then the lip gloss i'm wearing over that and i hardly ever wear lip gloss so i'm just putting one in this basket so i will use it i won't want to put too many and this is the buxom um plumping gloss in sandy which is a really pretty nude color i bought that a while ago in new york um and i just never really use it so i want to get into the hang of that and i also brought back three MAC lipsticks. I never wear my MAC lipsticks. I'm not a lipstick person. I don't know why I buy MAC lipsticks, but I'm just drawn to the colors. So I brought my three luster finishes because those are my favorite. I like that they are sheer and they don't feel heavy or they're not matte looking. Like, ooh, I have a couple satins and they dry out my lips and make them look yucky. So anyways, the first one I have, like I said, they're all luster finishes, is Way to Love. This is just like a light nudie pink. And these are all limited edition as well. Then I have cut a caper, which I've already worn a couple times this week. And I really like this. Just a pretty peach color. A peachy coral, but not not orange at all, which is wonderful. And then lastly, the Viva Glam Gaga lipstick, which I had to have and then I never really wear it. So I want to get into the hang of this again. This too. I just haven't worn this very much because I felt like it made my teeth look yellow, but we'll see. So I'm sorry this is long. If you have a video like this or um, if you just want to leave a comment below some products that you really want to try to use this month, uh, then that'd be awesome. I'd love to read you guys' comments. I love you comment me. I will always comment back. And I really appreciate your guys' feedback, and I appreciate you watching my videos and subscribing. And like I said, please let me know below whether you want to see a follow-up of my monthly makeup basket, letting you know what I actually use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I don't know if I say it enough, and I really am thankful for you. And I love making YouTube videos, and it's something that I try. I've, I'm trying to upload a video every, once every day this week because I missed last week because I went home for Thanksgiving break and our internet is so slow uploading videos. So anyway guys, uh, sorry this is rambling on and on but thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.